Okay, so I'd like to just talk about the significance of the discriminants then in solving uh, quadratic equations and in, in, the, in the quadratic formula. So you know the quadratic formula that says if I've got a quadratic in the form ax squared plus bx plus c is zero, then the solutions are given by minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac or divided by 2a. And this bit inside the square root b squared minus 4ac is the discriminant, and it's called that because it allows us to discriminate between the different cases of the quadratic. You probably know that a quadratic can have either 0, 1, or 2 real solutions depending on the quadratic. So for example something like x plus 1 times x plus 2 equals 0, or you know that multiplies out to x squared plus 3x plus 2 is 0, that has a two real solutions. It's got the real solutions uh, minus 1 and minus 2. Okay, so that one, that one would have two real solutions. And if I took something like x plus 1 squared is 0, or x squared plus 2x plus 1 is 0, so that multiplied out, that just has one solution, minus 1. Whereas if I took something like uh, x squared plus 1 is 0, well that has no solutions, uh, no real solutions, okay, or no real roots I should say. Um, so the point of the discriminant is, well, can we distinguish between these three cases, right? So because when you use the formula, what sometimes goes wrong, like in the case here where uh, there are no real roots, is this thing inside the square root, the discriminant, is negative, and so we can't work it out, right? So for this third case here, x squared plus 1 equals 0, uh, we've got, for the in, the in this quadratic formula, we've got a is 1, uh, b is 0, because there's no x term, and also uh, c is equal to 1. Okay, So 1x one squared plus no x plus 1. So if I put that in the discriminant here, I would get b squared, that's 1, minus 4, sorry, b squared is 0. Uh, so that's 0 minus 4 times 1 times 1, so that would be minus 4. Right? Uh, and because that minus 4 is negative, when I when I try and evaluate it in the inside the square root here, I get a math error. I get a you know it's the square root of a negative number. I can't do it with real numbers, so I get no real roots. Okay, so in this case, the discriminant okay is negative. Right, is negative. Now, if we look at the next case up, where we have just one real root. Okay, this one that just has the root minus 1, well there we've got a is 1, b is 2, and c is 1. And b squared minus 4ac then is b squared is 4 minus 4 times 1 times 1, that's 0. And when I put that in here then, this becomes the square root of 0, and that part of the quadratic formula uh, goes nowhere. Right, this is just, I, I'm just left with minus b divided by 2a. So this one, the discriminant, uh, I'm going to use this sign for a second for the discriminant, delta, capital delta, um, that's equal to 0. So this b squared minus 4ac is 0. And in this case, uh, the last one here, I've got two roots. Well, here I've got a is 1, b is 3, and c is 2. Then the discriminant here is b squared is 9 minus 4 times 1 times 2. That's 1. So I'll get a positive number in the square root, I can work that out, and I'll get two different answers from when I add it on and when I subtract it. Okay, so here that is big, big, bigger than zero. So to summarize, we've got three cases. If the discriminant, b squared minus 4ac, is bigger than zero, I get two real roots. If it's equal to zero, I get one real root. And if it's less than zero, I have no real roots. Okay? And in this case, uh, one real root Sometimes uh, that will be phrased as having a repeated root. Okay, and the reason it's called a repeated root is that comes about from expressions like the one we just looked at, which is, you know, which was uh, x squared plus two um, x plus one, say, uh, equals zero, which we could write as x plus one squared is zero. So the reason we call it repeated is that when you try to factorize it, uh, that factor appears twice because it's x plus 1 times uh, x plus 1, so it's kind of repeated in that expression. Okay. So two real roots, one repeated root or no real roots are the three possibilities for a quadratic equation. And once we um, you know, know this, we don't have to necessarily work out 
the uh, roots to know how many there are. So here I could just go straight for the discriminant. I could say b squared minus 4ac, that's 7 squared minus 4 times 3 times minus 4, so that's 49 um, plus 48. Even without working it out, that's positive. So I know I'm in this case where this equation, this quadratic equation here, would have two real roots. And sometimes that's what we're interested in to know that something has a solution or has more than one solution. And a sort of question you might get about this, uh, you know, in AS is something like find the values of b for which 2x squared plus bx plus 7 is zero has a repeated root. We now know that a repeated root or um, that means one real root, or it means that the discriminant b squared minus 4ac that must be equal to zero. So um, now here the b is b, although it wouldn't necessarily have to be called b, it could be whatever it is with the x, but you get the idea. So here uh, I would need this value b, b squared minus 4 times a, so that's times 2 times 7, uh, so I need this to hold, that would mean the discriminant is zero. So b squared would have to be 4 times 2 times 7, that is 56, so I've got b squared is 56, so b would be plus or minus the square root of 56. There are two values here that work uh, to give a repeated root um, plus the square root of 56 and minus the square root of 56. If you want to, you could write that as you know, plus or minus 2 root 14, perhaps a bit more elegant, but there we go. Or I could make a kind of super quadratic equation question um, like this, you know, for what values of, or we should say a now, uh, would a plus 3 lots of x squared plus 2ax plus 1 equals 0 have a repeated root? Again, I need b squared minus 4ac is 0. Now here, um, this is sometimes algebra gets a bit confusing like this, the b from the quadratic equation is here 2a, the a from the quadratic equation is a plus 3, and c is 1. Okay, so this is not usually good maths to so say a equals a plus 3, so maybe this a in inverted commas is the a from the quadratic equation. Quadratic formula, sorry. So b squared minus 4ac equals 0 gives us, well, here's b squared minus 4 times a, but a is a plus 3, times 1 equals 0. And that's 4a squared minus 4a minus 12 equals 0. Uh, so the reason this is a kind of super quadratic equation question is I've now got a quadratic in a that I need to solve. Uh, it's quite nice because I can divide it all through by 4 and say a squared minus a minus 3 equals 0. And now uh, we could check here actually b squared minus 4ac is positive here for this one it's uh, 1 plus 12 it's going to have two roots but we're asked to find them here so this a applying the quadratic formula to this is minus b minus minus 1 plus or minus the square root of now b squared minus 4ac here, perhaps I should write this out here, I've got like a is 1, b is minus 1, c is minus 3, so um, b squared is 1 minus 4 times minus 3 times 1, that's plus 12, all divided by 2 times a, so I've got 1 plus or minus the square root of 13 over 2, uh, and if you wanted to you could you know, put that in the calculator and round it off to two decimal places, whatever the question asks for, but that's the idea. Okay, so uh, that video is about the significance of the discriminant, uh, and just one minor point, b squared minus 4ac is the discriminant. Sometimes people get confused and think that the square root of b squared minus 4ac is the discriminant. It doesn't usually make too much difference, but technically it's b squared minus 4ac, so if you're asked for the discriminant, that's it. Three different cases, if it's positive, two roots, zero, one root, negative, no roots, and we can use it to solve some problems.